Probably this is much closer to Raghulan and uh, also Vincent. Do you want to comment on this? Like uh, enterprise adoption, which ones? Because I think this opened up a design space, right? Not just the traditional settlement like Visa or MasterCard, right? E essentially, SAPs could look into this, right? Like many other kind of enterprises could actually tap into this opportunity. But I'm sure you guys are much closer to this. Yeah, I mean, look, I, I've been working with enterprises for a long time. I, I think what's more interesting is seeing these... Um, it's a stepped approach, right? Enterprises don't usually lead the market, frankly, um, if I'm just brutally Unless honest about it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, like, change in a big enterprise will take a really long time. I think what you'll see is these Web2 companies, um, you know, whether they're like uh, wallet companies, gaming companies, ride hailing companies, e commerce platforms, I think you're going to see them install uh, stable coins as an option for payment and remittance and, and movement of money. And I think that will create an onward traction. And you're starting to see that with this case, use cases like SAP, for example. Um, ultimately, like, I'm not a big fan of pushing technology or solutions where there's no problem. right? And I think there's just so much latent demand for the problems that we face in the world that need to be solved today, whether that is, um, you know, dollars, exporting dollars to people that actually need it. Um, you know, the use cases I talked about before, like security of money, movement of money. Um, and there's just so many people, like literally billions of people, especially across emerging markets um, in Asia, Africa, um, Middle East, and, uh, and Latin America in particular, who need it and have huge latent demand for it. And I think as, uh, you know, happened like ages ago, like more than 10 years ago, I, I worked at AWS. And, um, and when Amazon Web Services broke through in the cloud, mm -hmm. yes, I was working in the enterprise division and we were trying to convince enterprises. But the startups did it first. Yep. They started scaling. The enterprises get FOMO and they follow. And I yep. think that's a very typical stage of how things will happen. Yep. And I anticipate that's exactly how it's going to happen here. We're starting to see some unlock here in Asia. Um, you know, you'll see some interesting announcements coming ahead, which will show some of that unlock starting to happen. And I think that will just create this huge wave of people going, if they're doing it, I need to do it. And then I think you'll see dramatic movements in the next sort of 18, 12 to 18 months or so with, with big brand names unlocking the availability of stable coins. Yeah, I think you'd be silly if they're not